really whittling down the science puzzle count, and now he has some ultras wreaking havoc inside of this base. Of course, there's an irradiate there, and that should take care of it, but... There's a Lurker coming in. The Lurker, unfortunately, not under the Dark Swarm, so it gets killed. So it looks like Flash was able to defend that base. Don't know how, but now he's coming in with some backup troops. Reinforcements to destroy any troops that are coming down from Calm. So Calm coming down with even more Ultralists, a lot of Ultralists. So I think Calm's going to try to end this game with some Ultra Drops. He was already he already uh, researched Drop Tech, so he's, I think he's going to drop bases with a bunch of Ultras here. And that might be a little bit difficult for Flash because he has all of his troops so split up. I mean, uh, the real power of a Terran force, especially Medic Marines, is to have them all together. But he can't really do that. He has to defend all of his bases at once. Another science vessel going down. And Calm trying to do a counterattack. But I think he, yeah, he misjudged how many troops would be at this location. So Flash, he's trying to keep a few troops at each base. And that is working out for him. He's going to take out this Ultra and protect the 6 o'clock, so Calm, uh, quite a few failed attacks there. He lost a bunch of troops going out with a bunch of Zerglings, so he can uh, still commit to his Ultralist tech. Uh, even with this Ultralist tech, he's going to have to get another gas soon. He definitely needs another gas. He's taking the 3 o'clock finally. Flash not able to deny that forever, but Flash could go over with his troop right now and deny that. But uh, Calm, now he's attacking the 6 o'clock. I see him down there with some Ultralist trying to break through the 6 o'clock, but I don't think he was able to do it. No, he's not able to do it. Flash holding that choke as long as he can. But, oh, wow. Uh, Calm doing a great job defending the 12 o'clock now. He has Lurkers in the perfect position to defend that. Now Calm coming up with his Ultras, but that's being whittled down. Oh, wow. Even though he has plus three carapace, plus five for the ultras, and a plus two attack, he's still being whittled down by the Medic Marine troop that's out. Oh, more Scourge coming in. Oh, destroying almost all the science vessels. Some, some excellent sniping of those science vessels from Calm in this game. Oh, Calm might be taking this game slowly, but surely. They're, wow, it's a lot of tanks, though. I didn't even see those tanks earlier at the five o'clock. So Flash, he has a bunch of tanks out but really he needs to focus on medic marines he needs some way to whittle down the ultralist count he can't just go out with tanks he's going to need some medic marines out there too but uh, working off of four bases i think flash is going to be able to work off these four bases for a long period of time assuming that he can keep calm from expanding too much calm has taken the three o'clock calm has taken that three o'clock and if calm takes the middle or the uh, nine o'clock base it might be over for flash he's going to have to stop that from happening because if calm takes those bases he's going to be able to pump ultras forever forever and just run in attack move basically and keep flash from doing anything Okay, Flash actually going to float over a base and try to take the natural of the 5 o'clock area. I think this might be another drop from Calm. He's running around with some Scourge uh, attached to his Overlord. So, yeah, I think he's going to try to drop. Being scouted by Flash. Flash scouts this and Calm decides to back off. He might lose. Oh, he loses one Ultra. Might lose a second. No, so I have a feeling there were some Ultralists and that one uh, Overlord, but it uh, looks like Calm is not yet fully committed to a drop. He's tried to drop with uh, five Overlords, four Overlord groups, but really he needs a Doom Drop or something. He needs to completely eliminate one base or maybe completely eliminate the main, go in there and get rid of all of the production buildings or something. He needs to commit to an attack. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to break this defense. Look at this defense from Flash. He's just turtling up. He knows he can stay in those four bases and now five bases forever. So that's what he's doing. He's staying in there with tanks, defending very, very well with tanks. And this is almost the exact same thing that Fantasy did against Jadong on Outsider in the Pro League Finals. Oh, man. Some Scourge coming in, taking out almost every science vessel again. Excellent, excellent control from Calm to take out all these science vessels in this game but it looks like this uh, 9 o'clock base is coming up but it's being spotted by Flash so Flash is probably going to send some troops over there soon to take that out. Yeah, he's moving out with some tanks moving out with some tanks might utilize the tanks to hold the middle. If he can use the tanks to hold the middle and be able to take the 9 o'clock for himself he's, I think he's going to have this game because he has very powerful troops out now I think fully upgraded Marines if not fully upgraded they're close to it you have to look at the upgrades of the Marines but yeah, Flash moving out with a troop. He's going to try to take the middle again, even with all the Ultralists out there. And yeah, look at these tanks from Flash. He's not even using them aggressively. He's using his Marine squad tactics, as I said, to take out the 9 o'clock. Oh, oh, an eraser trick from Flash over at the 3 o'clock. Run, drones, run. 
even though Flash, I think he just put his science vessels on patrol over there. They're kind of going back and forth, not really radiating anything. But, uh, yeah, look at all these ultras from Calm. So many ultras. Confused science vessels over there at the uh, 3 o'clock base. So Calm definitely still in this. He, if He needs to take some bases, though. He needs to take either the uh, 9 o'clock or the middle to be able to compete with Flash economically because Flash now has his fifth base up and running. He has that up and running. So I think, yeah, both guys are getting close to max population. I think Flash has 185, Calm has 171. But, yeah, that could be changed in one attack. Irradiate from Flash. All of his... Uh, if science vessels get plagued though and it looks like Calm is coming down with all of his troops coming down with all of his troops but backing off backing off seeing those tanks there he decides to back off but really Calm has to get something done I think drops would probably be the best way to go because he'll be able to bypass those pesky tanks if he doesn't manage to get uh, to land on a medic marine trap like this oh the medic marines actually take that out and now they're going to de deny the ninth, the 9 o'clock base again Maybe not. Some Ultralis coming in from Calm to defend that. Finally, he's defending this 9 o'clock base. I think it's gone down about three times already. But yeah, he defends that base. And Calm, is, uh, Flash is not happy about that. He's moving out with his entire troop to the 9 o'clock position. He's going to go over there and maybe try to destroy that with all of his troops on the ground. Oh, this is going to be close because... Uh, yeah, there's one. <laughs> Poor Medic. Get out of there, Medic. There's no place for a lady. But okay, there comes some science vessels. Coming in, probably just to irradiate any Ultras that might be defending this spot. But there's only one Ultra and one Lurker here, so this should be pretty easy for Flash to break this. Uh, wow, look at all these Ultras from Calm. Absolutely insane. All those Science Vessel operators, the Science Vessel pilots. Well, eh, that's a lot of Ultras. And now Calm still backing off. Still backing off. And uh, yeah, Calm, go for drops, buddy. You're not going to be able to break through the any of the choke areas because uh, Flash, he has a ton of tanks over at this 5 o'clock. And look at the amount of tanks over here at the natural area. His natural taking out the 9 o'clock. The Ultras can't get there in time. Nice sneak attack from Flash over there at that, at that location. So he's doing a great job denying bases, but really he might want to think about getting another base of his own. Both guys are macroing so well that they're going to be fighting over the middle bases soon enough. Man, a lot of science vessels going down by Calm Scourge. But uh, Calm has committed himself to a melee troop, and he's not going to be able to break this, this wall of flash. The great wall of flash. The flash tanks all over the place. And he has medic marines out there just to uh, protect those tanks. 